Hello everyone and welcome back to Tuesday. I'm not sure if you can tell right now, but I'm slightly sunburned on my cheeks and my neck and stuff because I actually went outside this weekend. I went home to visit my family, so I um, I had videos scheduled to go up over the weekend, so you guys didn't uh, have to deal with less videos or anything. I just worked extra hard last week to get them up, and uh, it was nice. I had a little break, you know, I got to just relax because most of the time I'm making videos. I work seven days a week. So I had three days where I didn't have to do anything and that was great. But now I'm back and I'm just ready to get back into the swing of making videos. I asked you guys on Twitter to use the hashtag HeyMatt to ask me some questions or leave me some comments and all that fun stuff. So we're going to read those today. If you're not already following me on Twitter, you can do that. There is a link down below in every single description. And uh, also, one more thing before we start, I bought something on the internet. You may have already seen this if you're following me on Instagram, but I bought mini wizard hats. I bought them for my, uh, for my pet, so hang on. It's falling off. I bought these for my pets because, I don't know, I'm just a crazy person and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy a bunch of wizard hats and I can put them on my pets and just, um, yeah, here we go. <laughs> it's uh, it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. It's like a little party hat. It's got the little elastic thing here, but uh, I thought it was, they were kind of funny. My cats don't like wearing them, that's for sure. So as I said, today I'm gonna be reading the hashtag hey Matt tweets on Twitter. Hey Matt, do you have any interests or hobbies outside of gaming? Kind of, I guess. I don't really do that much. I mean, I, I take Luca to the dog park. That's my dog, for those of you who don't know. You know, I take him out for walks and things like that, which is not really a hobby. It's kind of, uh, you know, something you have to do. But, um, yeah, most of the time I just play games, and when I'm not playing games, I'm watching movies. If you have any good movie recommendations, I'd love to hear them because I'm always looking for things to watch. I, it's really hard to find, like, comedy movies. I've watched most of the comedy movies, and everything I seem to find these days is just crap. So if you have any really funny movies... Uh, the chances are I've already seen them, but uh, if you have anything that's really funny you think I haven't seen, maybe something more obscure, just uh, leave it down below in the comments. What is your favorite console? I'm gonna have to say Super Nintendo for that. I actually have a Super Nintendo in my house right now because, as I said, I went home this weekend and my mom gave me my Super Nintendo to bring back with me because apparently my brother wanted it. The only problem is we're missing about half our games. Like, my favorite games for Super Nintendo were the Donkey Kong Country games. I think I had one, two, and three. Um, I also had Super Ghouls and Ghost and Double Dragon and Yoshi's Island. We still have Yoshi's Island and uh, a couple of the Donkey Kong games, but there's a bunch of games that are missing. I can't find Super Ghouls and Ghosts anywhere, which is a bit of a bummer. Honestly, I have no idea what happened to it because, you know, it, they were just sitting there on the shelf. I came home and I was like, okay, let's get some games here. I need to take this game back with me. And there was only half the games. Emulating usually works pretty good on older systems, but it's not the same. It's not the same as playing the actual original console with the original games, but I guess that's just what I'm gonna have to do. How are you? Is it nice out east right now? To be honest, the weather this summer has been absolute crap. I'm not really sure, like, I don't look at, every now and then I'll look at the window, but for the most part I don't pay attention to the weather. But when I was home, my parents were telling me that this is like one of the coldest Julys they've ever had. I think it was like 8 degrees Celsius when I got there, and um, it was actually a nice weekend. Like, it was above 20 degrees a couple of times during the weekend, which was pretty impressive for uh, Newfoundland temperatures, I guess, especially this summer. But, uh, you know, it's, it's not too bad. Right now, we're getting some hot weather. It's hot enough for me to be kind of sweating right now and wishing that I could turn the air conditioning on. But if I turn the air conditioning on, all you're going to hear is... And you don't want to hear that, I would imagine. Maybe it sounds better than me. I'm not really sure. Do people ever get jealous of your luxurious eyebrows? I actually get a lot of tweets and things like that of people saying they wish they had my eyebrows. I mean, they're not that great. I, I don't think they're as great as people say. At least I never really thought about it until I started making YouTube videos. And then it seems like every single time I show my face, there is a ton of people in the comments telling me that my eyebrows look fantastic. And for those of you who are asking, I do not do anything with my eyebrows, okay? All I do in the morning is just wash my hair. I don't touch my eyebrows, and I guess I'm just lucky enough that they just look like this on their own. Are you going to NGX in August, and if so, can I get a high five from you there? Yes, as I've said before in videos, I will be at Newfoundland Gaming Expo for the 20 people, perhaps, that are watching this video from Newfoundland. If you're from Newfoundland and you're watching this video, comment down below. I would really like to know how many people are actually from Newfoundland. I don't think it's uh, something that I can uh, see in my demographics, because I'm pretty sure it just tells me that people are from Canada or, you know, America, or the UK, the best I could probably do is count up the number of people that are fans of me from Canada, and then multiply it by the percentage of people in Canada that are from Newfoundland. And that might give me something that's kind of accurate, 
But yeah, I'd love to know how many of you are actually watching this from Newfoundland. Because, because you know, I went home and there were a bunch of kids at home who were like, Hey Matt, we watch your videos. And I was like, okay. Great. What's your favorite holiday? I'm going to have to say Christmas. I mean, it, it's Christmas. You, you, you wake up in the morning and you take gifts out from under a tree and you open them. And you celebrate consumerism. It's just fantastic. I mean, nothing really compares. Thanksgiving, you eat a turkey. Um, what else is there? There's uh, Easter. On Easter, you pick up some chocolate off the floor. Floor chocolate. Nobody wants floor chocolate. This is, this is, why? And Christmas. Christmas, you just get showered with gifts. It's not as fun anymore. I'm going to admit, okay? Now that I'm an adult, I don't really have that much fun during Christmas. Because if I want things, I can buy them for myself. And uh, nobody really knows what to get me anyway. I have to tell them, like, hey, you should get me this thing right here. And then that just spoils the point of getting gifts on Christmas. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna have to say Christmas, but more like the children Christmas and not the adult Christmas, because adult Christmas is like wake up at 12 and eat and just stare at your tree with no gifts in under it. I want to build a fan game with your character. Is this fine? Absolutely. freaking lootly If you want to do anything with my character, you totally can. I would be super flattered. There have been some people who have uh, asked me if they can make a game for me and things like that. And someone emailed me and they said they're a Flash developer and they make games on like Newgrounds and things. And they wanted to know if I had a game, what would it be about? And I said I could ask my fans about it. So I'm asking you guys right now, if there was a game about me, what would it be about? What would you guys like the game to be about? I'm sure there's going to be plenty of comments that involve either babies or melons, but just uh, just give me your craziest ideas, okay? Or just normal ideas. Crazy and normal, okay? Just give a good mix of both. Do you like any sports or sports games? If so, what ones? I used to like sports games. I used to play a few sports games when I was in like high school, I think. Back when I had a PS2, I used to play uh, NHL 2003, I think. So that was quite a while. It was 12 years ago. That was a really cool game though because they had... Um, they had a lot of Easter eggs. You could you could collect hockey cards, and then when you collected certain hockey cards, you uh, you unlock certain like unlockables in the game. Like you could play with big head mode and things like that. So that was really fun. I don't think I ever owned a hockey game after that. I think I owned Madden 2004, 2003, something around there. That was the uh, that was the date range when I played sports games. And Madden is pretty fun as well. I like playing football, but these days I don't really play any sports games at all. As for playing sports myself, um, I used to play basketball a lot in high school and really enjoyed it. We used to, you know, go away and play in tournaments. We always lost. We won one game at a regional tournament once, and that was it. Everything else we lost, but we still had a lot of fun, and I think that's probably the most important thing when you're playing sports. These days, I don't really play anything. I just, I just sit down in this chair. I want to eat a hot pepper, but I don't know how. Can you do a tutorial? I would ask the question, do you guys want to see that? But I know you're all just going to say, yes, hell yes, we want to see you eat a hot pepper. Eventually, I will eat a hot pepper, okay? That is something that's on my list of things to do. But I'm just scared, okay? Because I like, I, like, I like hot things. I love hot things, even if it's like unbearably hot. But then when you eat hot peppers, it's on a completely different level. Like your stomach feels like it's going to burn out of your body, apparently. I don't, I don't know if I want that, okay? I don't know if I'm ready for that kind of, uh, kind of challenge. What are your plans for the future of your channel? Making gaming videos, I guess. I would really like to branch out and do some like um, short film stuff or like, you know, sketches, comedy sketches, things like that. I mean, you know, it's it, I like watching that kind of thing and I think it would be cool to be in it as well. But I don't really have any plans. If something comes along and other YouTubers offer to, you know, um, have me be part of something that they're doing, I could possibly do something like that. But as for the channel itself, I'm probably just going to be making videos on games until whenever. It's very vague, but I really don't have a good answer for that because, you know, I've only been YouTubing for two years to get here, so I don't really know if that's going to be something that's going to keep up for another two years or five years or ten years, but uh, basically just going to do what I'm doing now and see where it goes. Would you rather have a time machine that only goes back in time or a time machine that only goes forward in time? That is a really freaking good question there, Ban. I don't know. I think probably a time machine that only goes back in time. Because then I could get more stuff done in the day. Like Hermione with the time turner. Wake up, make some videos, and then while I'm making the videos, the other me can go edit them at the same time. And then I'll just get in my time machine, I'll do the same thing over, it'll be a nice little loop. Everything will work out just fine, right? I mean, if, if, you, if you go forwards in time, you know, you're just going to end up screwing things up. You're going to miss all these important things in your life. I already have a time machine that goes forward in time. It's called my bed. If we are clean after showers, why do towels get dirty? 
I'm willing to bet it has something to do with the Illuminati. Can we see your fiance? I've done a video with her before and she's also on my live streams now and then, but if you want to see her, you can either go to my Instagram or her Instagram. I'll leave uh, links down below for either of them because uh, yeah, we take pictures of each other. That's what we do. Flip flop, shing shang, jimmy, wimmy, ding dong, doo doo. What's your favorite R&B song? Probably that one. What's your favorite thing about YouTube and what are your thoughts on Google and YouTube splitting up? My favorite thing about YouTube is definitely you guys. You're all awesome and I love you all. And I'm super happy that YouTube and Google are splitting up because I don't think they ever belong together. It, uh, it just doesn't work, okay? And it just leads to more problems. Like the fact that sometimes I can't reply to you guys. There is a, there's a setting in Google Plus that for some reason is on for some people and it makes it so that I can't reply to their comments. And it, it's always the people that are the nicest too. It's always like, hey Matt, you are the world's nicest and greatest person and you deserve a million, billion, trillion subs, and I want to say thank you for that, and there's no reply button. Thanks a lot, Google+. Plus. You're a bitch. All right, guys, well, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.